I feel very empowered when I'm walking in the red carpet. I feel like all the eyes are on me and I should not be ashamed of being who I am. You and look very strong. <laughs> cinema at at the world's sort of most premier film event the mm -hmm. Cannes Film Festival uh, you of course have been just killing it on that red carpet Thank oh my so god how much pressure is that and how have you done it <laughs> to be very honest bachpan se i had this thing where you know you saw i mean of course all the amazing films that were screened uh, at the festival and the amazing fashion that happens at this festival so it was always a dream to have a film here and to walk the red carpet and you've done both I, yeah it's it's, it's, it's come so slowly so <laughs> i'm five. glad high five <laughs> really amazing so you came in 2012 mm -hmm. it was with gangs of wasipur yes. and now you walk the red carpet is there a massive difference in the sort of pressures of that and the pressures of this big difference so 2012 we made this little indie film that no one knew what was going to happen to when it was this two part film and everyone was really confused and how it managed to sort of you know travel and sort of had found a global audience which was kind of strange for us as well so we were literally like aram nagar ke jitne hai na pura plane bhar bhar ke people are coming to can my first time so i didn't know what it hit me i was like wow you know was totally unprepared didn't know what to wear how to pose nothing you know now of course this whole pap culture and you know everyone i feel like all the actors i see now coming are so well groomed and they just know it all like i was so fully confused what to do so i called up a friend a designer in varun behar in in delhi said you have to make me something you know and he was very excited and very kind to uh, lend me a very beautiful outfit but now i think i'm a bit more with it now it's been like 5 6 years so now i'm a bit low more aware as to how to do it of course this year the pressure is also very immense because like i said the most beautiful women from our country um are walking the carpet and have been doing it so they are really pros at it so uh but now but so Roma, is it a competition I don't know. I see. I don't at least like to look at it like that. I think with the stylist is more of a con competition than the actress is. Like more with who's styling me for my entire can thing. I think he's just put in so much hard work uh, for this, and he's been and he literally had three weeks, not even three weeks, to sort of put the whole thing together. And people work on this for months, so he had a lot of pressure. But I am glad that what he didn't do, he didn't try and make me look like a clone of somebody else. He was like, you know, there's something that that's interesting about you. Let's. put that out don't try anything or let me do like a typical gown because everybody's doing a gown and i'm glad that he understands me and he understands my vibe and doesn't push me to become somebody else with stylists that's a big issue you know sometimes they just think oh this is the safe thing and we right. need to look like everybody else i've always been the odd one out the clutter breaker as i like to think of myself so i'm glad my stylist understands that but Huma, tell me the the so from Deepika, from uh, Kangana, Aishwarya, I've interviewed here for years, and mm. she's always said uh, exactly this: a, be yourself. Mm. Uh, but also, what all of them have said is, have fun. Yes. But my question is, how do you have fun <laughs> <laughs> when you know oh. that they're going to scrutinize every, everything, every hair, every every, every eyelash, everything's yeah. going to be yeah, fully focused, every flaw. Like literally, when I, when you walk the carpet, it's it's photographers on either side. So when you're posing this side, there's someone photographing your bum or the back of your head, and you're like, oh, okay, wait, 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 hang on. So it is a bit intimidating, but I think just be yourself. Uh, take a deep breath, and I think it's it's just about. Before you step onto the red carpet, like you should feel hundred percent confident in how you're looking. Tell me, what do you want to see Indian cinema do here? Well, Indian cinema is actually Imkan has been quite a favorite with Indian cinema and uh, uh, the films that have been picked over here, and I'm, I hope that trend continues. You know, which is the best thing about Khan. It is this big mecca of great fashion and glamour and everything, but all at the same time, the quality of the films over here internationally. is so amazing and is always so pure and and they believe at at the festival to do art for art sake and i think that's so important i mean we were at the india pavilion the other day i was uh, at the inauguration and you know prasoon sir was saying that we should have more festivals like this where you are celebrating cinema for cinema itself you're not trying to uh, corrupt it by putting in just films for popular appeal like for me it's exciting to watch like it has got faradi film over here you know or a small film like manto that for me is the true magic of a festival like can yeah apart from the great dresses <laughs> <laughs> been someone who's spoken very um you know uh, with great sort of passion and and strength about body positivity mm -hmm. and there is 
a whole sort of a stream of thought that says that this whole thing with the red carpet sure. uh, is putting sort of unrealistic pressures mm. on women is is kind of uh, can have negative impact maybe is even a little out of step with mm-hmm. the times of me too and and times up how do you feel about that i don't actually i don't agree with that i think uh, it depends on how you take it uh, you know i feel women at least i feel very empowered when i'm walking in the red carpet i feel like all the eyes are on me and i should not be ashamed of being who i am you and- look very strong <laughs> <laughs> but you know my inspirations have always been strong women in my life it's been my mother it's been beyonce <laughs> you know i mean i'm i'm just saying that i i feel like you know we have this whole culture it's not about bo- just body shaming i think we have this whole culture where women should be seen not heard and we don't like very strong intelligent educated opinionated women because we feel like oh they're going to shake up the power structure and i feel like you don't need to be that you don't need to succumb to that and just by walking a red carpet is not going to degrade women in any way own it enjoy it and and feel empowered while doing it hey but you are a big social media maven are you you know that instagram account yeah well we have to <laughs> it's a necessary evil nowadays huh? but do you enjoy it i do enjoy it i have, i mean again it's it's like a skill you have to like initially you're just like so lost okay what am i doing but i think it's such a great way to sort of let people into your world know what i'm thinking what i'm doing and without really having to uh i don't know just have in between people it's just your direct communication to your audience and and for you to know what they like about you what are you hungry for now as an actor uh great roles uh characters i've always i think my strength has been playing characters so i'm just hungry for just meet your parts and I, i i've never been in the race to be number 1 or whatever that's not my scene at all but i do want to play memorable characters uh work with great directors i feel i'm a very directors actor Uh, so I can be great in a film, and I can be terrible in a film. But it, it, I have to have like a good director that you know we can sort of really have that exchange of ideas. Uh, Sri Ram Sir has been one, uh, somebody like that. Anurag has been somebody like that. You know, so I I really crave um, good scripts, good content, and just just great uh, characters to play. And do you not worry at all um, about the length of the role or the image or things like You've that? You've seen my films. No, I have. I have. <laughs> when i see you i, I don't, so tell me this and maybe i'm completely sure. off yeah. but but you know when you are part of something as glamorous as an, mm. as, a, mm. as in sort of high profile like sure. the cannes festival sure. does it make you um sort of put boundaries in your head as an actor that okay i've done this now i want to be this is there a is there no, those kind of strategies not at all. in fact i feel uh, dressing up in fashion is for myself films is 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 a little more it's it's for your fans your audience it's also about creating something of value you know and i feel i don't like if a tomorrow director tells me oh no make up and we have to do something i'd be most excited so i don't think the boundaries about oh i need to be projected a certain way in films i think today that time is gone and i know it happens a lot in our country where people say yeah. oh, this is my image Correct. and i need to be pretty and not a hair out of place yeah. i'm dying but my mascara should be perfect i'm not that kind of an actor but i have seen those films back in the day and cringe saying oh god come on guys we need to be more realistic in the films we're doing and i love commercial films but even within commercial films there should be a soul there should be a story there should be something that moves me you know so i always want those parts and i don't put limits to myself saying oh i'm not going to do this because it doesn't go with my fashionista image anymore right and what's the one enduring memory that you will take away from here i think it'll have to be my uh, metallic uh, pants suit moment in the red carpet i think i was very scared about doing that also because Why? everyone because i had this beautiful international designer that everyone was saying you should wear it cuz international designers get the maximum traction and you look like the school indian actors wearing this big designer gown which is of course the sensible and uh, the usual route most actors take the safer choice the safer choice but i wanted to wear thumpy's gown uh, thumpy's pants suit which was i know how much he labored for it and uh, and i think again he understood what i was all about and i think that for me when i put it on it just felt really amazing and it was a pain to walk in because it was so freaking heavy but i loved it i loved it and uh, So, and I think also, like, why do we feel that? I think Indian designers are amazing, and the work that they're doing, like Falguni, Falguni and Shane, for example, they design for Beyonce, they design for so many people. I feel we don't necessarily need to wear an international 
designer to look relevant or cool. I think we have enough talent back home in our country. Yes, totally yes. agree. Yes. I agree absolutely. Well, thank you and good luck to you and and thank keep you. looking as smashing as you are. Thank you so much. <laughs> thank you. Yeah.